Now, what would you do if after serving a military, as a military officer, somehow ends up in prison with a death sentence hanging over your neck? This is the story of an ex-soldier in the Nigerian army who was wrongly accused of mutiny and sentenced to death. But thankfully, there was a legal breakthrough that saw him serving six years behind bars. Plus, TV crew followed his story as he shares his experience as a soldier while in prison and life after prison. He was a Nigerian army, fought Boko Haram terrorists, loved his job as a military man, but somehow ends up in prison and now an ex-convict. It is very easy to get into Mazimon or security prison, but it's difficult to, to, go, to come out. I got there as a result in the, in the cost of my job, as a result of my job. There's no other, there's no, it's, it's not that maybe I commit, I am not a criminal, I'm not, I did not commit in any way, but in the cost of my job, I found myself there. I'm a soldier, I'm a military personnel. I serve in Plateau State, 2013. We have a call to move to Medukuri in order to, to change the way those bad elements call Boko Haram. We were there with the battalion I went with. We moved from one place to another, chasing away the, the Boko Haram, fighting a lot of them. Many, many of my mates were killed. Many of my classmates were killed. Even myself, it is God on my side. So uh, there's a particular attack we were, we were supposed to go September 12, 2013. We went for the attack and uh, we lost 38 of our men in that very attack. So, where we come, where we come back from the attack, you know, the, 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 the commander came, the, 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 the commander that was the brigade commander. Now, joining us live in the studio is Plus TV African News correspondent, Amaka Okoye, and she's gonna give us an insight into this report. Thank you, Amaka, for joining us on the news. Thank you. Now, what particularly was your finding during this um, documentary? So, um, Ayo, who was the subject in this documentary, represents a lot of uh, other Nigerian soldiers who have been wrongly accused. So part of the, the major thing that we realize is the fact that he was wrongly accused uh, for mutiny. And unfortunately, he had to go into prison for that. But thankfully, like you heard in the report, uh, through the help of uh, Femi Falano, who's their lawyer, he got six years in prison. So what this says is the fact that there are a lot of people who are unjustly accused and don't have, you know, no one to tell their story. And for me, I think it's an honor for Plus TV Africa to be able to follow through, you know, and then to tell the story of this man. And so that the world will also know the real side, the other side of the story. We get to hear a lot of people who end up in jail for reasons that may not be just or justified. And when we talked to him, in fact, when we, when we met him in Kirikiri and then of course went to his home to film, he also mentioned that there are others who are still there. So for me, uh, there are so many Nigerians, whether military or non-military, there are people who are quite innocent, but they just find themselves in prisons and they don't get uh, justice. So we are grateful that somehow he got, in fact he was sentenced to death, but he got 10 years and then 6 years and he's out now. Uh, but he is still living with the effect of going into prison after yeah. serving, you know, the Nigerian army, in the Nigerian army as a military officer who fought Boko Haram tirelessly, you know. He was there for, for countless years until he ended up in Kirikiri. So yes, there are people who are innocent, but somehow they get now, what was his, What's the state of being presently? What was his situation with, with him right, right now? The big thing for Ayo presently is the fact that, yes, he's out of prison, but of course, you know, he's not able to get a job uh, because, as you know, there's something about stigmatization in this country. It's just like when you're filling any form and then you're asked, have you been an ex-convict before? You know, as soon as you tick yes, you can just say goodbye to that job. So that's the reality where he finds himself so he's out of job even though the acquittal letter from their lawyer says that you know he supposed himself and the others uh, who were released are supposed to be given all that is due them in the Nigerian army and be reinstated back uh, to the Nigerian army. What, what are his chances of him getting reinstated back into the Nigerian well, army? Well unfortunately we spoke to a lawyer yeah. in in this documentary we didn't get to see that part she said there's no place in the in the Nigerian constitution that says well you can't get a job after 
after being in prison. But there is a subtle stigmatization that makes it completely impossible. So chances of him getting back are quite slim. Like he said, he's hopeful that he will get into the Nigeria. He will be reinstated. But as he said, until maybe another general will come and then maybe change the situation. But for now, he's still without job. Just three days after the release of this video, what would you say is the impact of this documentary? Uh, first of all, this is an exclusive to Plus TV Africa okay. and um, it's been huge. I mean, it's just three days, not up to three days in fact, and we've got massive views and comments on social media, on YouTube, and we've got another lawyer who reached out to Plus TV Africa to say, oh, I want to, I'm happy to take up this case for free. I have a foundation. So that is already in the pipeline. We also got someone who called from Canada and happy to help him. In fact, yesterday sent him some cash to get him uh, started up back to life. So yes, we can say that there is impact and that's the essence of telling this kind of story so that they will get, get help. Our hope and prayer is that he gets back into the Nigerian army. But if he doesn't, that he finds something else and then, you know, be free from stigmatization. Of Amaka Okoye, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.